In show business, you either make it or break it. Well, these guys made it, and then they broke it. Badly. What do you think it'll take to get the paparazzi to leave you alone? I don't know. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity falls from grace. All my friends hate me, and now my mom hates me. In entertainment, many stars rise and quickly fade away. Others just can't live up to the hype, and some just don't seem equipped for the pressures of fame. You can lose your mind a little bit going on Saturday for being an idiot to Sunday being a genius. For this list, we picked celebrities who were the authors of their own demise, performers, personalities, and artists whose purposeful behavior got them into trouble. And for many, it's what's keeping them there. What happened when you interrupt the white man? He's gonna jump you down! Go for it! Though some have made a comeback and some have sought redemption, these celebs will forever be mired by the scandals they created. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number 10. Lindsay Lohan Let the games begin. She charmed audiences in The Parent Trap and turned Mean Girls into a cult classic. Yeah, sure. But Lindsay Lohan has become the worst kind of child star cliché. I'm sorry. With stints in rehab, jail, and then more rehab, Lilo has gone from Hollywood Wonder Kid to Party Girl to Trainwreck. It was horrible. Notoriously unprofessional, she's been dropped from multiple movies in recent years. I did do everything that I was told to do and did the best I could to, you know, balance jobs and showing up. I'm sorry. Now that she's booked for stage work in London's West End, does this signify the beginning of a comeback for Lindsay Lohan? Or should we just place bets on how long she'll keep it together? We can't believe it either, but Lindsay Lohan has been arrested again. Number 9. Isaiah Washington Good work, everyone. So, you're an audience favorite on a hit TV show. How do you get fired? Ask Isaiah Washington. As Dr. Burke on Grey's Anatomy, Washington played a sophisticated surgeon, but behind the scenes, his behavior proved pretty backward. Tomorrow morning, the two of you are going to meet with me and legal, and you better damn well be able to explain what happened here. During an altercation with a fellow cast member, Washington uttered homophobic slurs. Even great doctors make mistakes, and when we do, we've got to have a chance to be able to speak up without fear of retribution. When the incident went public, the actor showed little remorse and made even more off-color comments to the press. No, I did not call T.R. a faggot. It never happened. <laughs> never happened. After being virtually blacklisted by Hollywood, Washington is slowly returning to the spotlight. I'm glad it happened because now a uh, better husband, better father, better business person, a better producer for it. Let's hope so, Isaiah. Let's hope so. I could be wrong. Number 8. Rolf Harris Watch me wallabies feed, mate. Watch me wallabies feed. I look, they're a dangerous breed, mate. So watch me wallabies feed all together now. Artist, musician, and children's entertainer, Rolf Harris was adored by millions. But sometimes people do things to one another which don't make them feel good. But behind the warm, friendly face was a much more sinister character. In the wake of several high-profile sexual assault cases, Harris's abuses came to light. In 2014, the 84-year-old was found guilty on a dozen counts of indecent assault against young girls between the ages of 8 and 19. Publicly shamed, stripped of most honors, and sentenced to over five years of prison time, Rolf Harris's fall from grace is more like justice served. I know firsthand how quickly he can move and he knows exactly what he's doing. Exactly what he's doing. Number 7. Justin Bieber Baby-faced and with the voice of an angel, he was a YouTube sensation. Turned world-famous pop idol, turned international super brat. Justin Bieber's ongoing antics are overshadowing his talent, and we're using the term loosely here. He got busted for smoking weed, and he's really sorry about it, and that people make mistakes, and he's never going to do it again. Vandalism, DUI, minor assault, and drug possession have gotten him into trouble with the law. While on-again, off-again relationships, celebrity feuds, and nonsense like this What'd you say? You have relegated him to tabloid fodder. Remember earlier today when I asked you? No. Why don't you listen to what I had to say first? 
and then maybe you'll tell me yes or no. I don't have to listen to anything you have to say. So will the Biebs smarten up and change his ways? We'd have to see it to believe it. Here's what he wrote, and I quote, truly inspiring to be able to come here and was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. Number six, James Fry. The truth will set me free. Um, I don't care much about truth. His riveting memoir of drug addiction seemed almost unbelievable, probably because it wasn't completely true. I don't think truth and fact are the same thing. James Fry's A Million Little Pieces sold millions of copies as an Oprah's book club pick, but it was later revealed that parts of Fry's stories were fabricated. While the author tried to appease critics, he was no match for the wrath of daytime's queen. I was surprised. The ferocity of the attack definitely surprised me and definitely hurt, and it seemed to last forever. The scandal cost Fry several lucrative deals, and though his career seems back on track, we'll always remember him as the guy who lied to Oprah. The smoking gun report um, titled The Man Who Conned Oprah, and I want to know where they write. I, I think most of what they wrote was pretty accurate, absolutely. Number five, Tom Cruise. Ladies, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heartthrob, action hero, couch jumper, Tom Cruise was the biggest movie star in the world. Then in the mid-2000s, his celebrity veneer started to crack. Well, if, if antidepressants work for Brooke Shields, why isn't that okay? I, I disagree with it. And I think that there's a higher and better quality of life. His controversial take on psychiatry, his rather strange courtship with Katie Holmes, and then there were those Scientology videos. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. All of these things contributed to Cruz's diminished popularity and professional setbacks, including his break with Paramount Pictures. He's suing to the tune of a billion dollars. The sum of the film's ticket sales, Blu-ray sales, movie rentals, subscription sales, and budget. Though he continues to make movies, it seems that Tom Cruise the person might be getting in the way of Tom Cruise the star. If you start talking about chemical imbalance, you have to evaluate and read the research papers on how they came up with these theories, Matt. Okay, that's what I've done. Number four, R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. He's a celebrated R&B artist. He likes to make really long songs. Hurry up and get in the closet. Then he walks in and yells, I'm home. Now he's at the closet. Now he's open in the closet. He also seems to like really young women. Too young, in fact. In 1994, Kelly illegally married 15-year-old singer Aaliyah. In 2002, a video surfaced allegedly showing Kelly hooking up with and peeing on another underage girl. The big question remains, is the man caught on this tape allegedly having sex with a then 14-year-old girl really R&B superstar R. Kelly? A jury found Kelly not guilty of any crime, but the public remained skeptical of his innocence. Still making lengthy ballots, Kelly later married an appropriately aged woman. Though they've since divorced, let's hope he's learned his lesson. I like panties. Okay, you know, just any kind. Just nice panties that fits really nice, where a little bit of cheek is coming out each side. You know, I don't like thongs because thongs, you might as well not have no panties on because the, the ass cheek is what we like to see, but then we see the ass cheek and then it's like, wow. Number three, Michael Richards. How can you have a cigar store without an Indian? People love Cosmo Kramer, but Michael Richards, not so much. In 2006, Richards spewed out a racially charged rant against African-American audience members that had been heckling him during a stand-up set. You can talk, you can talk, you can talk your brain now, motherfucker. Using several racial slurs with shocking references to lynching, the actor and comedian's outburst was caught on camera for the world to see. Shut up! 50 years ago, you had your house tied down with a fucking pork up your ass! Though he publicly acknowledged his terrible behavior, apologizing profusely, many felt that it was too little too late. For me to be in a comedy club and flip out and say this crap, you know, I'm, I'm deeply, deeply sorry. The next year, Richards declared he'd never do stand-up again. Inside, it still, it, it still kicks me around a bit. Number two, Mel Gibson. I can get really mad about, I can murder inanimate objects. 
You should see me choking the toaster in the morning. <laughs> you know, so I'm kind of a work in progress right now, so. Actor, director, and all-around bigot, Mel Gibson has gone from Hollywood power player to movie biz pariah. And given his track record, it's easy to see why. In 1991, Gibson made several homophobic comments to a Spanish newspaper. I guess I must have been a little overwrought. So, and that's what happens, too much pressure, too much work. Fast forward 15 years, Gibson was arrested for a DUI and went on an anti-Semitic tirade against the arresting officer. The Jews are responsible for all the wars in the world. Mm -hmm. Are those anti-Semitic words? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds horrible. In 2010, recordings of Gibson's violent and racist threats against his girlfriend were released. I don't work around in tight clothes. I s*** home for most of the time. Public and it's a embarrassment to me. You look like a bitch on heat. And if you get raped by a pack of s***s, it'll be your fault. He's blamed alcohol and emotional distress for his actions, but nobody's buying it, except maybe Jodie Foster. And of course, Mel Gibson, you know you saved me too. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable, mentions. The broken arm, the black eye, it's gonna heal. That's not the problem. It's the scar inside. The scar inside. Can you understand that? Yes, absolutely. This weekend, former Disney stars gone wild news. Shia LaBeouf attends the premiere of his new movie with a bag over his head. The idea that they classified it as the, the biggest trial in the history of the... I thought, wow, am I really that important? <laughs> you know, I make movies. But maybe this is a destitute young woman, cold on a winter's eve, unable to pay for the clothes she so desperately needs to keep warm. Or maybe it's multi-millionaire and acclaimed actress Winona Ryder gathering up six grand's worth of designer clobber and waltzing out the door. Yep, you guessed it, it's a Hollywood star who doesn't need any of this stuff. Number one, Paula Dean. I want to apologize to everybody uh, for the wrong that I've done. Famous for her southern cooking and love of butter, Paula Dean also held on to a few less savory southern customs. I've made plenty of mistakes along the way. Sued for racial and sexual discrimination, court transcripts revealed Dean's use of racial slurs and her desire to host a southern plantation-style wedding with exclusively black servers. I can't and, and myself I can't. determine what offends another person. Do you have any doubt in your mind that African Americans are offended by the N-word? I don't know, Matt. Her case was settled, but the scandal got Dean fired from the Food Network and cost her several lucrative endorsement deals. Food Network, let me just say, Food Network says no more. Smithfield Foods said they're severing mm -hmm. ties with mm -hmm. you. QVC, mm -hmm. a big partner of yours, is weighing their options. And in 2012, when she announced she'd been diagnosed with diabetes three years earlier, critics came down on her even harder for her high-fat, high-cal cooking. Butter? We don't drop our biscuits down in butter, uh -huh. y'all. Forget fried chicken. Looks like a serving of crow with a side of humble pie for this chef. What you see is what you get. I'm not an actress. Do you agree with our list? What celebrity scandals deserve more attention? For more famous and salacious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Look at all the butter in this kitchen.